Hello everyone, welcome back to Key Comics Market Watch. Uh, I'm happy to have another new release Wednesday haul. And um, I'm doing it in my car today because I'm not going to have time to go home and, and record this video today. i uh, got too much stuff that I have to do after I pick up my daughter from school. So uh, I got just got the book, so I was like, uh, might as well just make it in my car. Haven't done one of these in a while in my car, so um, let's just get it get it over with and done and by the way i'm giving away a book in this video so uh i'm get, well i'm giving you the information of how to win a book in this video and i'm gonna show you the book that i'm giving away so let's get this haul started and thank you everyone for not skipping the skippable ads and thank you everyone for hitting my amazon store the link is in the comment section of all my videos and um <clears throat> just want to say Happy Comic Book Hunt Wednesday, everyone. So let's get this thing started. So I was very happy to get the the Wonder Woman Jenny Frieza cover. Dang, there's a lot of glare. Oh, man. That, that's why I stopped doing these in the car. Now I remember. It's too much glare. There we go. So was happy to only pick up one copy because that's all they had. Um, they sold out real quick of that. So I was like, ah. So I was kind of upset. I wanted like three copies of it. Then we have the What If Thor Was Raised by Frost Giants. Uh, just the regular cover. Um, I was the other, the other variant cover was the toy variant, like the, you know, the like the toy variant. But anyways, I didn't get it because he's actually on the front cover right there. So I was like, ah, I can just get the regular cover. And I actually like this book. So I guess that's his first appearance as a frost giant. Then we got uh, Black Panther versus Deadpool. I got the variant. Now I will say this. Um, every time they ever meet up with each other or versus each other, that book, those books wind up going up in value. So definitely suggest you get this at least issue number one. I don't know if it's a good read or not because I haven't read it yet, but I, I definitely uh, am excited to read that book. Um, then I got Spider-Geddon number two. The In Huck Lee variant. Got that one. All right. Then I got the X Men Red issue number nine, Battle Lines variant of Hellcat, which I'm digging. I'm really digging that. I wanted to get a, 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 two, another copy, but then I was like, nah, one is enough. So I just got one of those. Then I got the Spider Getting. I mean. <laughs> Spider Gwen Ghost number one. Um, there's the Battle Lines variant also. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So, all oh, this damn glare. All right, and I also got Amazing Spider Man. Uh, I forgot what issue it is, but this is the Battle Line variant with the Green Goblin, and I'm digging this cover. I love it. I love this Green Goblin cover. In fact, I wound up getting one two more so i had three copies and this is actually one of the books i'm giving away for this video so if you want to win this battle lines variant right here all you have to do is comment in this video hit the like button and you have to be subscribed to my channel that's it and also don't forget to go to my venom spoiler review video because if you go to that video and you do the same thing, you comment, you like, and you're subscribed, you'll be entered to win Spirits of Vengeance. Um, I forgot what issue it is, but Venom's on the cover. And if you also go to my last uh, Hot Book Alerts video uh, and do the same thing, hit the comment, the likes, and you're subscribed to that video, you'll be entered to win that Red Hood get um, Jasmine Putri variant cover that I have for that for that video and last but not least um if you go to my last haul video what book was I giving away for that one hmm I don't even remember <laughs> that's terrible I'm giving away so many books I'm forgetting what it is but anyways go back to my last haul video there's a book in that one also that I'm giving away you have to do the same thing like subscribe and make a comment in that video and you'll win whatever that one is oh it's the uh, battle lines thanos cover that's what it is 
I remember now. <laughs> All right, so um, was very happy to get this. The Moon Knight 200 variant David Finch cover. And Dev David Finch, man, David Finch. I have to say, it's only three people that's ever drawn Moon Knight. So spectacular that every time they draw Moon Knight, I have to get it. And that, of course, is Bill Sikovich. You have uh, the one that I wish was still around, Stephen Platt. And you have David Finch. Those are the three right there. And out of all three, Stephen Platt is my favorite. I wish Stephen Platt still did Moon Knight or came back and did some Moon Knight. It will be great. All right. Very happy to get this. In fact, let me show this one off first. Uh, very happy to get this. Detective Comics 991. There's the Mark Brooks variant with uh, with uh, Two Face and man, Two Face looks awesome in this cover. I really, I'm digging this cover. I was gonna get two of them, but I said I'll just get one for now. Um, last but not least, I wish they had more of this one. This one right here, that was the only copy they had, and it was Batman, uh, Bad Girl number 28, the Josh Middleton cover, and I'm really digging this cover. Now, this is the Josh Middleton that I like. Not that Josh Middleton Aquaman cover that he did. Oh, my God. That thing was atro huh, atrocious. It was so terrible. And shout out to Bad Avenger. You like that, Joe? But I hated it. I couldn't stand it. I understand, Bad Avenger, what you were saying about him taking risk and all that. But he could have took a risk without making her face look so ugly in that that cover, that Aquaman cover, her face just looks so, ugh, I was just like, gosh. Now, everything else around the cover was nice. And this is how bad that cover was. It was so bad that just now at the comic book store that I just got these new books, went over there and they still had every copy still of that Josh Middleton cover, that cover B. They still had them. They didn't even sell them because it's an ugly cover. It's just, ugh. Her face is looking so, ugh, it wasn't, everything else looked good, like the creatures, the coming out of the water, all that looked great, but it was just her face just look like, I don't know, it just, I, I was like, what the hell, like, usually he does such beautiful faces, like, the faces are usually spectacular, look at that face right there, it looks awesome, but that Aquaman cover, psh, that thing was atrocious. So, wish I, I could have got another one of these bad girls, but that's the only one they had, and luckily I got one. But shout out to Bad Avenger. I understand what you were saying, but uh, I have to disagree with you. I understand he was taking chances. It's not wrong with taking chances, but at least make a woman's face look beautiful. Like, her face should have at least looked good, or it, not, it didn't have to be beautiful, as long as it wasn't ugly. And the way he shaped her face in that cover was the ugliest thing ever. I couldn't believe it was a Josh Middleton face of a woman that he drew like that. It was just, I was like, what the hell is this? Like, it was atrocious. So, I mean, everything else you were saying in the video of your video, I understood what you were saying. Like, with the other covers and how he take chances. I understand all that. I feel you, brother. But that face, you there's no way you can get around that face. That face was atrocious. Atrocious. That's why he they still have every they still got him over there. Like literally, it's still a bunch of them still there. And I'm like, and even the cover A, they still got a bunch of those too. And I I didn't feel that cover A either. And you like both of them though, but hey, it's that's the great thing about art. It's some that one person might like and another person will like. You know what I'm saying? Like art is, you know, subjective. So I understand. Well, but for my opinion, my brother, that cover was atrocious. So <laughs> that's my personal opinion. And I, I think a lot of people feel that way because that thing is still sitting over there. And usually Josh Middleton covers be gone like that, especially when they're awesome. So, um, but that one, whew. Oh, man. <laughs> but anyways, thank you, everyone, for checking out my new stuff. Uh, I was didn't see too much more. I really, I was going to pick up the Mars Attack, number one, but all they had was cover B. Um, and cover B, uh, then when I looked inside and started looking through the book, I was like, uh, it's not really impressing me. I get Maybe the story is good, but it just didn't impress me. So I was just like, 
I left it there. Um, but that's about it, you guys. Um, so I'll be back. My next video will be the that comic book collection that I told you guys I bought that I'm putting into two videos because it's too much for one video. It'll be too long. So that'll be definitely my next video. And I heard what everybody's been saying in my comment of when I asked for suggestions of what I should do next. And I definitely feel you guys. And I'm definitely going to be doing that. Thank you for all the suggestions, everyone. If you have any suggestions of what you think I should do in my next videos, let me know in the comment section below. Um, but also, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment so you can enter to win this awesome, awesome Battle Lines Green Goblin. So, definitely do that. And I just want to say happy comic book hunting, everyone. If you're having a bad day, Go read you a comic and you will have a great day, all right? Until next time, peace.